But one of the things we hear from customers is, how can we make our own algorithms, the algorithms that our data scientists and developers are building for our own business, as fast as the ones that are inside SageMaker? And the truth is, today, this is kind of cumbersome. You can do it, but it's uh, very, very difficult to get right. It's very hard to get the performance. And it involves getting really into the weeds on a whole bunch of low-level, uh, low-lying C++ code. Nobody's got time for that. And so today, we're introducing a new feature, which we call Amazon SageMaker Streaming Algorithms. <laughs> Streaming algorithms allow you to accelerate your own algorithms by taking the same approach we use for the SageMaker algorithms and stream large volumes of training data from Amazon S3 through your model. This is great, because it allows you to stream it into your own algorithm. It dramatically reduces by uh, up to 90% the amount of time it takes for your training to start, because you don't have to do that copy step up front. It also means you can just drive more data onto your GPUs and your CPUs to drive your training. That means they operate more efficiently, and it can cut down the time that it takes to run your training models. And because on AWS, everything is metered and only pay as you go, every second counts. So if you can reduce the training time, you can dramatically re reduce the training costs. So we're bringing this today to TensorFlow, and we'll be applying it to additional frameworks coming soon. So once you have uh, trained your model, another step in machine learning is the optimization step. And again, just from the end of an API, you can run high-powered, machine learning-driven parameter optimization, which continually searches for the best possible model uh, for your training data. And once you've optimized, most customers want to be able to host their model. They want to be able to put it into production. And so we provide A-B testing for those algorithms so you can deploy them safely. And we provide robust, elastic hosting for those models right inside SageMaker. Now, the elastic hosting is, uh, as you would expect, um, very easy to integrate. We take your model, we deploy it onto a fully managed infrastructure, and we give you an easy to integrate API endpoint. Uh, then you can drive low latency, real-time predictions using that model. Under the hood, we'll auto-scale to make sure that we're providing the right level of capacity. And we'll do that across multiple AZs to provide fault tolerance to the model. So this is perfect for real-time, low-latency predictions. But there are some situations where customers want to be able to process a whole bunch of data just all at once up front in batch. Or where they have very, very large files, such as those medical imaging files that I was talking about before, or 5K video, where they want to be able to process a big file all at once. So today, while we're well set up for real time, uh, customers want to be able to have more flexibility to train batch and large files. And so today, we're introducing a new feature of SageMaker, which we call Batch Transform. <laughs> SageMaker Batch Transform provides fully managed, high throughput batch transform jobs with a simple API call. So this means that you can process data dumps in a batch. If you have a new set of billing inventory, if you have a whole bunch of product sales, you can just take that at the end of the day and just throw it against your model and start doing your predictions. You can also process large files, uh, five gigabytes and up, much more easily without having to chunk them into pieces. And what a lot of customers are doing are using this approach to test their models. So once they've trained a model, they have a test set, which is well understood, and they just run through that as a sanity check to make sure it works before they start rolling it into production through A-B test. And that works if you want to run it in the cloud or if you're deploying those models, say, to an MRI machine, which sits in a hospital, uh, to run at the edge. So the joy here is that you can use the exact same models that you're training in SageMaker today for real-time predictions and run the exact same models for batch predictions. And you can take all of the pre-processing and post-processing steps and bring those into your batch processing workloads as well. And again, this is all fully managed. If you've ever run a training job in SageMaker, this is virtually the same API. And so through all these capabilities, the training, the optimization, the hosting, we see a dramatic decrease in time that it takes customers to take their machine learning models, train them up, and put them into production. Intuit are running close to real-time fraud analytics and driven by machine learning on their platform routinely. And they were able to reduce their deployment time down by 90% using SageMaker. It used to take them six months to build a model and get the first version into production. Now they can do it routinely in less than a week. 